Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this Mass, first Saturday of the month of November, in honor of Our Lady, the humble handmaid of the Lord. Through her example and intercession, may we become servants of our Lord, truly and totally devoted to Him. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to choose Blessed Mary as the virginal chamber where your word would dwell, grant we pray that under her protection we may participate joyfully in her commemoration. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, greet Prisca and Aquila, my co-workers in Christ Jesus, who risk their necks for my life, to whom not only I am grateful, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Greet also the church at their house. Greet my beloved Epinatus, who was the first fruits in Asia for Christ. Greet Mary, who has worked hard for you. Greet Andronicus and Junia, my relatives and my fellow prisoners. They are prominent among the apostles, and they were in Christ before me. Greet Ampliatus, my beloved in the Lord. Greet Urbanus, our co-worker in Christ, and my beloved Stachys. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the churches of Christ greet you. I, Tertius, the writer of this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, who is host to me and to the whole church, greets you. Erastus, the city treasurer, and our brother Quartus greet you. Now to him who can strengthen you, according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to revelation of the mystery kept secret for long ages, but now manifested through the prophetic writings and according to the commands of the eternal God, made known to all nations to bring about the obedience of faith. To the only wise God, through Jesus Christ, be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Please all stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is night to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with dishonest wealth, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. 
and the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we have been listening to the parts of the Gospel where Jesus is not only doing his ministry, but while doing his ministry, he was also teaching his disciples how to become true and authentic servants and disciples of our Lord. And today, in our gospel passage, Jesus was teaching his disciples how to become true and authentic stewards of the gifts that may be entrusted to them. Tinuturuan po ngayon ng ating Panginoong Jesus ang kanyang mga alagad. Paano nga ba ang nararapat na paghawak at paggamit ng kayamanan? Of course, as disciples of our Lord, they are not exempted from handling and being entrusted material wealth. We need it, we can use it, but there is a proper way of handling material wealth and treasure. In our gospel today, Jesus was teaching his disciples not to love money. In our gospel passage today, Jesus tells them, you cannot serve two masters because you will be devoted to one and you will hate the other. While teaching these things, the Pharisees were also listening. But according to the gospel passage, the Pharisees who loved money they did not agree with Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is teaching us today that yes, you can use money. Money is used. Money can be spent. Money can be invested. But money is not to be loved. Let us ask ourselves today, can you really love money? It is an inanimate object. It is not alive. How can you love money? Jesus is teaching us today, 
Money is used, but it is not loved. Money can even use you. Money can possess you. Money can consume you. But money will not love you back. That is why Jesus is telling his disciples, yes, you can use, you can spend money, you can hold and be accountable with material wealth, but never love money because it will never love you back. That is why the best example that we have against the story of the Pharisees who loved money in our gospel passage is Saint Paul in our first reading today and his community, the communities of the different churches of Jesus, the different churches where Saint Paul was serving. Siguro po ay narinig ninyo yung ating unang pagbasa na puro pangalan. We are going already towards the end of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. And he was greeting, towards the end of his letter, he was greeting the disciples of the different churches. He said, Greet Prisca and Aquila, my co-workers who risk their necks for my life, who risk their lives for my life. I also greet my beloved Epinatus, Mary, Andronicus, and Julia, my fellow prisoners in Christ. Greet Ampliatus, my beloved in the Lord. Greet one another with a holy kiss. What does this mean, my dear brothers and sisters? It means that in the community of the church, the beloved is the brother or the sister in the church and not money. St. Paul did not say, Greet my beloved money. <laughs> Greet my beloved money that you have given to me. No. St. Paul's beloved were the brothers and sisters in the church. How beautiful life can be if we learn how to love not money, but we love our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Mga minamahal na kapatid, sa umaga pong ito ay itinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon ang pera, ang kayamanan ay hindi minamahal. Sapagkat kahit kailan ay hindi rin marunong magmahal ang pera at hindi ka rin mamahalin yan. Nilikha tayo ng Diyos para mahalin ang isa't isa. Nilikha tayo ng Diyos bilang mga tao, bilang mga anak ng Diyos at magkakapatid sa pagmamahal. Use money, but money is not to be loved. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we ask Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the humble servant of our Lord, to teach us how to become devoted to Jesus. She was a devoted handmaid. She was a devoted servant. And her only love is serving the Lord. May our celebration of the Mass teach us to become true and loving servants of God. Amen. Please all stand.
God entrusts us with gifts to be used for His glory and the good of other people. We pray that we may become responsible for all these and be worthy of His trust. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a church, we may be committed in our ministry to the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may be responsible and honest in the use of government resources. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For parents, may they find courage and strength in these very trying times, through your divine providence, encourage them to treat each day as a new beginning of a better life. May their children come to know you, the one true God, through Jesus and Mary, guided, guided by St. John Baptist de la Salle, to live Jesus in our hearts forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the organization, DLSU Puso, to unite the parents of Lasallian students and to empower them to play a participative, vital, and pivotal role in the life of the university in collaboration with the administrators, the faculty, the employees, and the student government. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may receive the eternal riches of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, help us that we may not be carried away by the lure of money, but seek the real wealth of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings your people make in commemoration of Blessed Mary, be acceptable to you, O Lord. For by her virginity she pleased you, and in humility conceived your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up 
your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of this spiritual food, we pray, O Lord our God, that steadily imitating the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always be found intent on service of the Church and may know the joys of doing your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank all those who have joined us in this celebration, especially the De La Salle University Parents of University Students Organization, as they have their 36th Annual General Assembly today. We thank you, dear parents of students, for joining us in this celebration. And may the Word of God and the Holy Sacrament of the Eucharist inspire you and strengthen you as you talk about the welfare of students this morning, your children. And we pray that all your concerns might be ruled by the love of your children, by the love of the students, so that it will always bear fruit in God. We also thank all those who have joined us in this celebration and for all those who have continuously supported the Manila Cathedral. Thank you for all your help, your donations that make us continue this online ministry. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Ipinaglihing walang sana Pusong dalis ay dakila Maria ina ng aawa 